Hey everyone, we have an important Fed meeting, of course, this week. And so I came across this chart here that to me, as originally a fixed income guy, is uh, I think extremely important. I've been shopping it around to a bunch of some of the more uh, most uh, successful or smartest investors that I know. And the feedback is mixed. Some people say it's different this time. Some people uh, say, uh, yeah, this is something worth watching. It's, let me share it with you. I think ultimately it's very important to watch and it could it could foreshadow uh, something a bit different than, than what a lot of people are kind of positioned for right now. But again, we'll see. Certainly don't want to paint any doom and gloom here either. That's important. What are we looking at? Essentially, if you look at the top pane here, which is uh, has a green line and a blue line, and what you're seeing is something called the Fed funds rate. And this matters to the stock market very much, this whole thing. The Fed funds rate is currently the blue line, and you can see it's roughly at 5 5 5.5%, which basically just means the Fed hasn't lowered rates yet. Once the Fed lowers rates this week, that is going to go down. The green line is the two-year Treasury note yield. It's 3.5%, 3.6%, whatever, depending on when you look at this specifically. So you can see there's a big difference in that, in that spread. And the difference is essentially what the red line is. And you can see that red line... It has just been essentially just going straight down. And so basically what it means is that the market is pricing in a lot of, a lot of uh, rate cuts going forward. And so one could argue, why is that? Well, is it because the Fed is, is wanting to lower rates because of the, the crazy amount of debt that has to be refinanced? Maybe. Um, is it because the Fed sees something on the economic horizon um, that is concerning, or is it really just the market that's pricing in something that they're more concerned about? And so that's really probably what this comes down to. It's about the market that's pricing in, and and they could be they could be wrong. But and here's the thing: we do have a few data points I'd like to share with you quickly. When we when when these levels have happened before, in fact, we're now at an even worse level than we were in 2008. And of course, in 2008, we had the great financial crisis. So if you go back and you look at, again, 2008 is when last time we saw these levels, and we're now even, even at even wider of a difference. The time before that was essentially you know, roughly around the, the, um, uh, the internet bubble, and then before then, basically in the late 80s. Let's call it 87. Okay. Now, again, is it different this time? Listen, we've had a lot of weird things happen uh, over the past uh, few years because of COVID. Maybe it is. Um, Maybe it's not, right? And right now, when I talk to people, a lot more people at the margin are actually saying it's different this time. Um, and we typically know how things turn out when people say it's different this time. I would uh, watch this very closely because if the bond market is right, then the bond market could very well be right. This doesn't spell very good news for the equity market. Again, just something to watch. I'm not on the record to, here to go super bearish to the equity market, not yet at least, but I think it's something worth watching and something that I know like a lot of equity investors, stock market investors are not watching because they don't even know that this stuff, this stuff exists. But hopefully this helps and I'll see you again in the next video.